Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's been a while since I played uh, this game because, uh, well, one thing that... I don't know if you know this from previous episodes, maybe... Because, um, I mean, I've never explicitly said it so, I think. But, um... Oh, there's an evolution. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try to catch this guy. One thing that I do is I record videos in, in batch. So, you know, it's not like I record one video and the next day I record another one. Usually when I start recording, I record several videos in one go. And uh, and then YouTube has this option to program the videos, you know. So basically you leave them scheduled, basically. And then the videos just come out uh, by themselves automatically. Which is very cool because you can plan in advance you know you can be like okay uh, i'm gonna record intensively one day maybe i'm gonna record like uh, three or four videos in one day maybe more and then uh okay i just got my the what <laughs> defeated um so then you record several videos in one go and then you can like i said just schedule them all and then they they continue to be released automatically you know which is very cool very cool I get that not everybody can do that because obviously, you know, uh, some videos uh, take more effort than others to be to be produced. But for these kind of videos that are let's plays and stuff, you know, they don't take that uh, that much amount of, of editing. At least in my case. I mean, some other people, I'm sure they do more complicated things, more complicated editing. But from my side, it's mostly just me talking and doing maybe some some tiny things here and there, so they are fairly easy to edit. And uh, I have the opportunity, that grants me the opportunity to, to leave several videos scheduled. And uh, that means that usually when I record, I do these batch sessions. Uh, you know, just something I, I guess <laughs> I felt like sharing this uh, with you guys. Uh, today but yeah just so you know which means that sometimes it may happen that uh, okay I can't grab that thing maybe I can make a space in the satchel um yeah I think I can sometimes it happens that uh, it's been a while since I last uh, played the game and then I have to <laughs> remember some things like okay how did this go um but anyway, nothing too crazy, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like I'm gonna forget entirely how the game goes. That would be... That would be worrisome, you know, if I really forgot completely how the game goes. Not the case, fortunately for me. That means I am in good mental health, <laughs> for the moment at least. So anyway, uh, I'm back uh, recording here. And uh, I do know we need to help... Uh, there is this warden that has no Pokémon to, to ward, I believe, something like that. That's how it went. Oops. Okay, I messed that up. So now I need to go there and I need to do something. <laughs> okay, I remember the mechanics of the game. I don't fully remember the story, though. But... Uh, yeah, we need to go there and... I mean, I think I can see actually here somewhere, right? Uh, how do you do this in the map, I think? Yeah, so the Lordless Island, find the home of Iskan, a Diamond Clan Warden on Apom Hill. So that's what we need to do. Okay, because Iskan is gonna help us uh, unlock uh, Basculin, I believe. I believe uh, Basculigion. And that's how we're gonna get to this island and all that. Okay, yeah, yeah. you see, it's starting to come back to me. Uh, it just takes a little while, but uh, it's coming back to me. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. So, I'm out of Pokeballs, so I might as well try to craft some more. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's what I'm gonna try to do right now. So let's go craft uh, Super Balls. I can do 24 of these, so let's just do that. And then maybe some more heavy balls, I think they they could be useful too. Maybe some revives. Alrighty. And I think we should have a space in the satchel. No, actually, I don't think we do. 
Because I, I mean, I ran out of some elements, but then the space I got left, uh, I replaced it with the new elements, right? The Pokeballs and stuff. Um, okay. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna grab this thing. And now I'm gonna run away from everybody. Because uh, that guy is dangerous. Yeah, you see? I just got knocked over my Pokemon. So I'm just gonna run away. I think I can sprint, right? There we go. I don't know if... Um, I don't know if this little guy... Oh, there's uh, one of those wisps. Um, I don't know if Weird Deer can take damage if it falls from very high. I suppose it would, but uh, I would like to not test that if I don't have to, right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fall gracefully into the ground. Well, I already did that. And I'm just gonna... Oh, is that a matchup? Oh, yeah. It's a matchup. Alrighty. Let's go fight this little guy. Uh, I suppose it's gonna have an angry disposition of some sort. I mean, at first glance, I can't imagine matchup being the kind of guy who runs away, right? I guess that kinda doesn't make sense. At least to me, I don't know. So, we're gonna fight this little guy, and yeah, as you can see... Matchup is not running away, certainly. So, that means... We should be able to try and catch it. And that's what I'm gonna try to do now, with the Super Bowl. And there we go! There's Matchup. Very nice. There's another one. Okay, there are a few. But at the very least, we caught one. So, I think that's gonna be enough for the moment. And I'm gonna... Oh, there's a Machoke, of course. Clearly an Alpha Pokemon right there. But yeah, I'm just gonna ignore it. I don't want any troubles. <laughs> at least for now. Yeah, I do need to increase my space in the satchel. How much money do I have? Okay, I have 5k. Not sure if that's gonna be enough. Uh, oh, I can receive a gift now. 90 merit points. Okay, and a great ball. So I have 182 merit points. Not sure what those do, to be honest. But uh, I suppose they are gonna be useful for something, so it's good to have them, you know? Uh, oops, not what I meant to do, sorry. I suppose they are gonna be useful at some point, I just don't know for what exactly right now, but... Uh... But hey, um, maybe later I will find out. Um, I would like to catch this Buizel, because remember, right, there is this side quest where you need to catch you need to catch these little guys and find one that is big enough. I... Sorry about that. I haven't been able to do that just yet. So I would like to try and catch a few more of these guys and see if I get lucky now. Something that I haven't been able to accomplish so far. So let's see, there are a few of these little guys here. Let's try and catch uh, these these guys at least. There's a float cell right there, but that's not Buizel, <laughs> obviously. So that one is not gonna be useful to me right now. But this little Buizel here might. So, oops, I wasn't close enough. Okay, cool. Let's see if this works. There we go. So we got three three new buizels with us, which is great. Now let's just go to that uh, to that place. Oh, there are tons of combis here. Oh, and there are ape homes as well. This one didn't notice me. Okay, it will now. Maybe it has a friendly disposition because 
He didn't do anything. And clearly it saw me, I mean, I was right there. So I suppose it has a friendly disposition. Which is cool. Because it makes things easier for me, obviously. And we got one. Very, very, very nice. There's another one right there. There's also that guy. I'm gonna ignore it for the moment. Let me try to catch this A-bomb first. If I can... Get close. Oh, come on. Stay still, Apom. I wanna catch you. There we go. Okay, now we can talk to this guy. Let's see what he has to say. Why, hello there, Mr. Django. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? What do you mean by plate hunting? Not sure what he means. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. Really? Ah, okay, okay. The plates are those things that you get... Uh, well, <laughs> he's explaining it now. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles, and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The one that has said to... that said to have battled against Almighty Sino. You know, I've been wondering, the 10 Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sino itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sino along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more, but please don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. So is that all that I am to you? A customer? <laughs> Not a friend or a partner, just a customer? Okay. I see how this goes. I understand. Okay, so let's go here. Do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Ah, this is Iskan, I suppose, right? So, um... I miss Iskan. Yeah, there he is. Of the Diamond Clan. A galaxy team member with a Celestica flute? Oh, you must be Django, right? Have I done something to warrant your visit? Uh, well, it's not that you did, but I need your help. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? Well, to visit Firespeed Island. Yeah. So you, you want to go to Firespeed Island? Well, if you insist, then you'd probably need Basculigion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite... Oh, it's um, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle. Or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. Okay, how so? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... Uh, but then you... Well, you see, this next part is something I could never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. You really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's uh, the, 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 the Tusclops. Dus okay. Even saying its name fills me with dread. Okay, this guy is a bit of a coward, apparently. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Tusclops Dark Pulse. That's the only way you can make Basque Legion's favorite food, you see? Got it. So we need to catch Dusclops, is that it? Wow, is everyone, is everyone in the galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening uh, how um, fearless you are. I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Hunt. Uh, Deadwood Hunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find the Wrecked Boats. I'll try... I try very hard to avoid these one-eyed Pokémon and so now I know a lot about them, you see? Okay, obtain a Dusclops, which can be found, yeah, okay. So, as I suspected, we do need to catch one of these little guys. Um, this guy seems terrified by the thought of catching one of these little fellas. For some reason, okay, I suppose uh, not everybody has the same uh, willpower or or bravery to stand against Pokemon, especially 
I can imagine that some Pokemon are more frightening than others, and Dusclop certainly is one of those. Uh, it's a ghost type Pokemon, and I guess uh, its appearance may be somewhat scary. I can understand that. But we are not afraid, my friends. We are part of the Survey Corps for the Galaxy team, which means we are... We are brave people. We have no fear. <laughs> we are Survey Corps... Um, recruits or soldiers or whatever you want to call it. Survey Corps members. And we are not afraid. So, for example, we are not afraid of this Graveler, as you will see. We're gonna fight it probably with Bulldoze, that seems to be the best approach because it's a ground type attack. And let's see. Yeah, that does quite a lot of damage which is pretty good. And I think Graveler is now on a good spot to be caught. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch to Pokeballs. And let's see, let's use the Great Ball. This should work. Let's see. There we go. We got Graveler. Excellent stuff. And we got some some goodies. Except for the Iron Chunk. That one doesn't fit in my satchel. But all the other stuff we were able to, to get. So, pretty good. Um, okay, we need to go here. Maybe I can... Oh, there's a side quest here. But I will ignore it for the moment. Can I maybe add some marker? Okay, there's a marker there. There it is. Cool. So now we know where to go, which is very cool. And uh, let's see. Let's continue. Okay, Apom totally saw me. There's no way it hasn't. So I might as well fight it and see how it goes. Okay, yeah. So it runs away. I guess fighting Apom is not uh, the best approach, given the circumstances. Uh, let's see, I think I can go this way. Oh, there's an Apom right there. Oh, wait. Is that Apom or Envipom? That's the evolution, I think. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's definitely the evolution. So, oops, okay. I thought I was fast enough to avoid it, but not really. But uh, it's fine. It's f totally fine. I will just go this way. Uh, oh, okay. But this is a dead end. And unfortunately... Well, maybe I'm able to jump. There we go. Nice. Okay. I didn't think I would be able to. But uh, I am. I am able to. Which is great. Okay, let's ignore... Let's ignore Macro. Maybe let's hide. Am I still... Oh, oh yeah, I'm still on its side. Okay. This guy is gonna chase me, so... I might as well fight it, right? And try to catch it, why not? Okay, it deals quite a bit of damage. Which is not cool. Uh, it's a dark type. I believe dark types are... Yeah, they are weak to... Um... They are weak to fairy. Wow, okay. One hit KO, very nice. Number defeated. Okay, this is something I need to do anyway. Defeat uh, Marcros, so it's fine. Now let's see. We need... Um... We need a Dusclops. There should be one here, it's my understanding. So, let's see. Let's see how this goes. For the moment I see... Oh, there it is. Alrighty. We didn't have to wait uh, long enough. No, sorry. <laughs> we didn't have to wait for long, is what I meant to say. Uh, ghost types, let's see. They are weak against uh, Psychic, I believe. Also, they are weak against Dark, but I don't have Dark types. I think I will go with Luxray. No, Luxray is very... It's in a very bad spot. Very weakened. 
Maybe Yamma. Uh, Yamma should be fine. Let's see. Uh, just in case I need to fight, of course. I'm gonna try to be sneaky. Okay, where where did it go now? Oh, there it is. Very cool. Let's try to get close. Use the heavy ball, and if that doesn't work, I will fight with Jamma. Alrighty. It did work. Very nice. So that was easy. Uh, okay, cannot take the iron chunk with me, but that's fine. Okay, so I guess I will be back later if I want to catch some more Pokemon there. Which there are a few. There are a few that I can catch, certainly. But uh, I will leave that for later, I think. Let's get the berries too. And uh, let's keep on going. Oh, there's a gold duck there. Very nice. There's a wisp there. I might as well try to catch it. There we go. Not catch it, just take it. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean. Okay, let's jump. And we should be able to go this way to cross to the other side. Very nice. Yeah, that was very easy. I guess I got, well, kind of lucky. I mean, I don't know how hard it is to catch the, the Pokemon, but certainly it was very easy to me, just uh, coming from behind and using the Heavy Ball. Certainly the Backstreak uh, attack or the Backstrike attack, <laughs> however it's called. It's certainly very useful. And now let's see. Now we can talk to this guy. Did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with a name that sounds like... Uh, yeah, yeah, I know uh, the one you mean. Here it is, my friend. Here it is. You really brought it? No, don't bring it out. Right, I guess I guess you have, I've got to do my part, seeing how um, determined you are to go to that island with Basque Legion. Usually um, I ask uh, Palina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time you need to help since, well, since we're making this a snack so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I give the signal, you have that uh, dust boops of yours use its dark pulse. It's like Voldemort to this guy, right? <laughs> he cannot say he cannot say its name. Three, two. Wow, no, it's too frightening. Oh, come on, man up, dude. Could you get a grip? Exactly. Come on. Right, so counting down to it just makes the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. Okay, and go. And there it is. A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. Okay, somehow that worked. That's very interesting. A favorite food of Basque Legion. A Pokemon that will bury on its back. Yeah, this is... We know this from before, right? This is the Pokemon that will allow us to... To cross the, the sea. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's the perfect bowl of Basque Legion food. Then let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. Okay, and where is that thing? I mean, that place. Okay, it's there. Not super far. So we can probably just walk there and uh, take the chance to catch a few more Pokemon. Um, I will also open the map and remove this marker because I no longer need it. Let's get the berries. Okay, Apom. The good thing is that Apom is not going to run away just by seeing me. So I can just... I don't even have to crouch, I guess, but it's just force of habit, right? So let's do this. And let's go to this other guy. Oops, okay, come on, really? And now it's gonna run away. Let's see if at least I, I'm able to defeat it. It's probably gonna run away, but if it doesn't... Maybe I have a chance. I can try to put it to sleep. 
Ah, well, no, it's not gonna make it... Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that in this game... <laughs> in this game, hypnosis doesn't work that way. You don't really sleep Pokemon, you just get them... get them a little drowsy. Okay, it's fine. No biggie. Okay, that guy is falling asleep now. But for real, because out of its own volition, is what I mean. So maybe I can use a Super Ball and catch it. There we go. I should be able to craft some more... Um, some more of those uh, heavy balls, maybe? Okay, I don't have apricorns. That's unfortunate. But uh, that's also fine. Okay, let's come from behind. No need to be sneaky, really. <laughs> Not with Apom, at least. There we go. And let's see, let's pay attention to our surroundings. There should be some more Pokemon that I can catch. Like, for example, I see an Eevee there, right? That's an Eevee. Yeah. That's an Eevee. Oh, there's another one right there. Okay, I didn't notice. Uh, yeah, of course, that guy noticed us, obviously. It saw us way sooner than, than I was able to realize that it was there. But maybe this guy, maybe I can be sneaky about it. Okay, this seems to have, um, seems to have, uh, I don't know how it's called, fearful disposition or something? Anyway, it seems to be one of those Pokemon that runs away at the slightest opportunity. So for Eevee, I need to be sneaky, certainly. Now let's see this guy, Tangela. Fingers crossed as usual, there we go. We're doing pretty good, my friends. We're catching a lot of Pokemon now, which is very nice. So let's see if we continue the streak. We, of course, are going to extend the streak as much as we can. There we go. Uh, I'm seeing that sort of rainbow there. I don't know if that's uh, one of those um, space-time distortions. Maybe? Yeah. It seems to be. Space-time is growing unstable here, yeah, definitely. It's not fully unstable just yet, but... Uh, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, I'm just gonna run away. Of course, I'm gonna ignore that guy. He's too strong and I don't wanna mess with it. And let's talk to Iskan. Oh, hello, Django. I was just waiting for you. Yeah, I suppose now we're gonna... Oh, okay. Hello, Wiscan. Oh, Palina, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Django can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet with the Great Basque Legion again. I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basque Legion. And there it goes. It's coming. And... There it is. <laughs> There's the new Pokemon. Go on, Django, you can give the food to Basculigion now. Okay, you threw in the ball of Basculigion food. Oh. Shra... okay, something like that. The Great Basculigion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basculigion would accept this favor. So, uh, Django, you should let Basculigion hear your playing. Okay, we need to make... Uh... We need to make Basculigion our friend. And for that we need to play the flute. So we will be able to... We will be able to summon him from now on, right? The way we do Weirdir and all the others. 
You received the splash plate. Okay, this is the water type plate. Cool. Now you can ride Basculigion across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Speed Island. Yep. Growlithe seems happy too. My congratulations to you, Django. Cool, thank you. Palina, do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe pup. During that incident, Iskan and Basculigion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iskan here. I truly adore him. But I know there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Iskan where there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just doing what any decent person would do when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day I found the strength to accept Growlithe as he is and not force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskan. Oh, perhaps we should save this discussion for another time, after all. Okay. A little bit of backstory there. Cool. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who... Okay, these... <laughs> these ladies again. Yeah, I guess they have memorized their introduction and they repeat it. Not gonna go over that again. We're the Misfortune Sisters known across the frigid land of Aisui and your luck's just run out. Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe. Okay, these ladies are evil for some reason, not sure why. If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. Now Gengar. Oh, hello Gengar. Okay, so we're gonna have to battle this, this Gengar, I guess. Or, or maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Thanks for the Growlithe, fools. We three can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in the Great Land of Haisui, we need to have powerful Pokémon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for ya. Let's take the mat to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. Okay. Okay, and they took the Growlithe. So these ladies are kinda evil, I guess. What? Uh, no, Growlithe. So do we need... I suppose we need to rescue Growlithe now? What should we do, Jan Django? This is an emergency, right? But uh, you see, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Django, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokémon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt Coastlands that seems suitable is Firespeed Island. Oh, now, how convenient! <laughs> now that you have Vasculigion to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Please, could you find it in you to help Palina? Of course. Yeah, how convenient. We will make our way to Firespeed Island as well. No, Palina, you should wait here and keep little Growlithe safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come Django, no time to think. We must go now. You should also know that Basque Legion can jump from the water's surface and then jump once again in the air to go even higher. You can throw items from Basque Legion's back, too. In your case, I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokémon. Honestly, I have to admit I'm still a little scared. Do you think you could head over first? Yeah, sure. No worries, I wasn't counting on you anyway. Okay. You'll still be able to throw items when Basculion jumps into the air, you have more time to adjust your aim. Yeah, of course, okay, cool. Alright, my friends, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and see you in the next video.